I'm going to do a quick reading. I'm going to use the Romance Angels. I'm going to use the um, Truth Oracle and I'm going to use these. So let's see what there is to get. So someone's left um, feeling stagnant, might be going through an awakening, but left hanging around, not knowing what's next. 33 just turned up. I'm only going to pull a few today. Um, the death card renewal, it's bringing real big changes and transformation. 44. Um, facing darkness, basically renewal, real truths, and everything has to be destructed to be rebuilt again. So the the death card's quite important. So massive transformations, even though you feel a bit stagnant at the minute. Six of Pentacles, there's going to be lots of generosity around you, 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. Going to be lots of generosity around you, or coming towards you. Even gifts from the universe of generosity. Could be financial or just kind of people. Anything else? I'm going to just try and pull one more card. Anything else for the collective? And the Ace of Wands, inspiration, bright future and false start. So this is divinely guided as well. This is a gift from the universe of passion, either real life passion from a human or passions coming towards you that you're interested in. Okay, so I'm going to use the same cards as clarifiers now. So I'm going to clarify the hanged man first. So there's the hanged man here. Hanged man. Two cards. Okay, let's have a look. Six of Swords. Better times ahead, uh, new home and her. So even though you're in stagnant energy at the minute, there is um, going to be calmer waters ahead. Or maybe you're going through calmer waters at the minute because nothing's happening. Um, success and victory as well. And three of wands, rise and shine, foresight, slow but steady. You're waiting for something. So maybe that's why you're hanging around at the minute. You're waiting for something to happen or you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um... So let's clarify the death card. Why is the death card here? Dolphins. <laughs> Knight of Cups. So maybe there's transformation within a person. This could be you, um, Knight of Cups. Change and transformation. Male or female, doesn't matter. Or it could be true man romance coming towards you. So death of the old and new romance coming towards you from someone who has feelings for you. True romance and joy, basically. Male or female, doesn't matter. Five of Pentacles after feeling left out in the cold. So maybe that's why there was this death card. Because um, you were feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you were blocked. Maybe someone wasn't speaking to you anymore. Maybe someone cut off communication. That kind of thing. There's definitely going to be real joy and love coming towards you now. Uh, there's Six of Pentacles, which is um, just divine blessings. Establishing boundaries too, but generosity and rewards from the universe and from people around you. There's quite a few cards. So maybe you're stepping into Empress mode. Um, there could be a new arrival of a baby, um, a new beginnings. There's going to be lots of generosity and generous people around you. But you're in this um, kind of worrying mode, shadow self, facing shadow side, basically. Um, worrying, stressing, keeping you awake at night, anxiety, that kind of thing. Um, but you're, it's going to help you step into Empress mode and you are going to get generosity around you, which is going to help you step into Empress mode too. So Ace, oh, I'm just going to shuffle one time. Okay, so Ace of Wands, this is passion coming towards you. Either passions or real life passion and the happiness card. It's going to make you very happy, whatever this is coming towards you. And it's gifted from the universe as well, from the divine. Um, Seven of Swords, be careful of someone around you that's not telling you the truth. 414s there. Um, maybe hiding behind a mask, not showing their true self, true colours, um, kind of devil energy, lower vibrational energy. <clears throat> Anything else? Or people, it doesn't have to be one person. And on the back is the five of ones. This is um, conflict battles. Again, it's the same kind of thing, hiding from truths competition conflicts there's someone around you that you battle with um there's conflict and yeah not nice energy okay so i'm just gonna put those back and i'm gonna do the true romance angels i very rarely use these but 
they all fell out, so I'm not going to take any of those. Okay, what's here from the Romance Angels from the Design Today? The Collective. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you true romance. 515. Anything else? Reconciliation. So you might be reconciling with someone that you've known or past life or from this life. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Could be someone you just know already, but they're from your past. Anything else? Um, extend your uh, light-hearted energy to others. So be flirty, carefree, light-hearted. I'm not very good at flirting. My flirting is what kind of bread's your favourite. <laughs> it's quite bad, actually so awkward okay so let's just see what's from the romance uh, sorry the hidden truth oracle anything someone wants to say either you or a different person i know that i crossed the line with you so someone out there or you wants to say that to someone anything else um i'm afraid to contact you so someone's afraid to contact you or vice versa it could be you um i remember every detail of that day whatever it was be different for everyone i'm so my belly's hanging oh it actually is <laughs> i have my top <laughs> so swollen lately uh anything else i might just see what's in the back i hide behind material things um so someone could be quite or come across quite materialistic think about material things all the time i hope that helped see you soon